P.S. I hope you guys don't mind, but your girl did not wear makeup today. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Allie and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So I asked you guys today if you guys would rather see like the Target stuff that I got because it's not makeup. Like it's only like a couple, like it's it's literally a few things from Target, some random things. I asked y'all if y'all would wanna see that in my vlog or just include all the makeup and stuff that I was gonna haul anyways. Just include the Target stuff in with that. So that's what we are gonna do. So it's gonna be a haul video, Target, Ulta, and Profusion.com. So I'm just gonna title this like Drugstore Makeup and Target Haul. I don't know, who knows? We'll see, but you can find a lot of Profusion Cosmetics at Target and Walmart, but for sure at Target, I know. So let's just go ahead and get the random things out of the way. So I am somebody who personally, I don't like to wear bras for two reasons. I don't like the wires and I don't like how structured and hard that they can feel. I like to feel just like more loose and free. And I only have two bralettes and a ton of sports bras and then one really good bra, which is the more structured one. So I did go ahead and pick up this bra right here and hope you are seeing my bra size. And these are the Auden brand. Yeah, Auden brand. And I got this one for seven bucks. This is actually wire free. It's all cloth. And I was super excited to find this. Not a color that I would have chosen, but to get this brand for seven bucks when the original price was 15, that's not bad. I got it half off. So I'm super, like, I really cannot wait to wear this bra because it looks so comfy. Like, I don't know. And then I am somebody, you guys, like, I've never owned a strapless bra, I've never seen the point in strapless bras because I usually wear bandos, but your girl has learned she's just a little bit too big chested for just a bando. And then after kids, kid, having kids just does things to your nipples, y'all, that, yeah. So I did go ahead and pick this one up because it's kind it's the same brand, the Auden brand, but I don't know, like, I just, if I was gonna get a strapless bra, like, it had to be comfortable and not so structured or like with wire. So yeah, I got a large and this one was $12.99 as well, or was $12.99. I didn't get that one on sale. And then the super last, or the super last, what? The next random thing I got were some more no-show socks. Now Target actually has really good no-show socks. They have been the first place that I've been able to find where they don't slide off of my feet into my shoes with no-shows. So I really do like their brand. They had a lot, like the, actual, the Exhilaration brand had like a lot of super random patterns. Now, the Universal Thread brand didn't, but they cost a little bit more. So I just went with the Exhilaration Thread and got me some Unicorn No-Show socks because I was like, you know what? If they're socks, they're gonna be in my shoes and nobody's gonna see them anyways. So that's why I did go ahead and pick up these ones. All right, and then a couple, the last, or the, I got a couple of pairs of shoes. Now I did go ahead and pick me up some little like fancier shoes now i know they're not like super fancy they're just wedges but the original price on these was 35 i got them for 17 bucks so i got them 50 percent off but i'm more of a wedge person not like a stiletto or chunky heel type of person i'm a very much a wedge person so i did go ahead and just pick these ones up because we're um our anniversary is actually tomorrow night and i was like okay if i want to get super dressed up I don't have heels to wear. I used to borrow my sister face, but she decided to move and abandon me, so I don't have shoes to borrow anymore. So I thought, well, if I'm gonna buy me any heels, may as well get them at a discounted price. So I just got these super cute tan ones. And one thing I like about this color right here is that it actually matches pretty cute with black. So there's those. And then I did pick up these ones as well. Both of these are the A New Day brand and same thing, original price at $35. Got these for 17. They didn't have my size in a box, so I just took these off the display. So yeah, I really wanted these. These are super cute on and super comfy. All right, so now to get into the fun part of the haul is makeup. 
And I got a few non-makeup things. So the first thing that I did get are these Tolly Moly face masks. Now I ran out of masks. I actually really, really love to do masks. Um, but since I ran out of a sheet mask, I've just been using like the clay mask. But I did go ahead and get the rice one. The rice one is for clear skin. I do get acne from time to time. It's usually on my cheeks and around my chin. It usually flares up really bad around that time of the month. But I do get random, like if I use like a product that my skin just doesn't like. Sometimes I'll break out and then I did get the pore care one. I usually only use the mask for like declogging your pores or helping keep your your skin clear um my moisturizers my moisturizers and stuff like that have been doing a really good job of keeping my skin like glowy and hydrated and things like that so i don't really worry about those for masks anymore so this is everything from profusion that i got so i did go ahead and get three different lip kits and i don't know <laughs> I know you guys just saw me declutter my makeup, but this was a big part why, because I bought more makeup, but I didn't feel like, but I'm saying I didn't feel like I should buy bigger storage because then I would just feel like I had to fill it with more makeup. So instead I just got rid of a bunch so I could fill it with more makeup. <laughs> oh, my life makes no sense. <laughs> So the first thing I bought was this Lips To Go kit. This one is in the shade Dream. So I did get this one in the shade Dream. They had like a more brownie one that I wanted, but it was actually sold out. And you guys, all the makeup I bought was on sale. So not one single makeup item that I bought was full price. Everything was on sale. So that is the color Dream. I thought that this would be a really pretty center shade or like with the darker lip liner to just do like an ombre lip. I got a lip kit in the shade Fantasy because fall, and I needed a new fall liquid lipstick. I have tons of regular fall lipsticks, but not any fall liquid lipsticks. This one is in Fantasy. Ooh, super vampy. Fantasy. And then I got a lip duo in Secret. And that one's in the shade Secret. Okay, so those are the only lip products I believe. No, I bought one other lip liner. Okay, and then the next thing I did go ahead and pick up was this Profusion Pro Contour Palette. Now, the only reason I got this is because I've always wanted the Kat Von D Contour Palette. And when I seen this, I was like, wow, that looks exactly like it. And I only paid, I think, like five bucks for it. So I was like, well, their powders are usually really good. So I was like, well, let me just go ahead and pick it up, try it out, let you guys know how it is. It has a pretty good weight to it. I thought this was gonna be their clunkier packaging. I'm really happy that it wasn't. So I also seen that Profusion came out with brow products. So I got the shade Soft Black because I'm, I don't ever do brunette because it's just way too warm for me. So I did go ahead and get Soft Black because I didn't have like a blackest brown or anything like that. So yeah, it comes with a brow gel and a pencil, and I think it's like five or seven bucks. So I actually had won this palette in a giveaway, but since I knew that I had this one coming in the mail, like I bought this palette and then I won it in a giveaway. And so I gave that one to my sister and I'm keeping this one and this is just their blush palette. And this is, yeah. I was gonna say this is in the shade, but it's a blush palette, y'all. And then I picked up these lashes, and these are in the style all oh, my lashes. These are their iconic 3D faux mink lashes. These look like they're gonna be like little on my eyes, but I'm sure they won't be. I think it's just the way the packaging is, but yeah, really pretty lashes too. And then the last thing I got, the whole reason I even checked out Profusion is because I heard that they had a real a new affordable foundation now there's another foundation and i bought the wrong shade because online be tricking y'all so in this one i got the shade light one it says that this is a warm yellow so let's see because i got the wrong shade in the last Ooh, i think i did good picking that shade out y'all i think that's gonna be perfect for me looks like it has some good coverage it covered up my little scar right there all right so i did actually forget that i even bought this this was from um target did y'all know target had japanese face tools like i didn't see japanese brushes but like actual like tools like nail clippers toenail clippers and eyelash curlers and tweezers 
I didn't know that Target had that, but I did see them there. They had the cheapest eyelash curler and I needed a new one. So I did go ahead and pick this up and it does come with an extra thing right there. Okay, getting into all of the Ulta stuff. So the rest of this haul is Ulta. So the first thing I picked up, just because I have not been, I'm not the biggest fan of Duo Lash Glue and for whatever reason, Kiss Lash Adhesive has just not been doing the things that it usually does. So I decided, you know what, it's time to try to venture out and find a new lash glue. So I did pick up this Eyelore Line and Lash and this is their clear lash. And so this is kind of like the Kiss one that, that's out. So you just line, so you just put it on like an eyeliner and then you stick your lash on. I think that's a great idea, but I'm also pretty sure you could still apply it to your lash and then put the lash on if you wanted. So yeah, I did go ahead and pick this up. I believe this was $5.99. So $3 more than my Kiss one. So let's hope it's worth the $3 more. And then I did go ahead and pick up these lashes in, uh, these Ardell lashes in the style Wispy. I'm pretty sure that these may be the same as my 614s. Maybe not. The 614s may be a little bit longer, but these would be really good. Like even if I don't want to wear makeup, I could just pop these on and look like I just have naturally beautiful lashes. Lots of lashes in this haul, guys. Like my husband's. And my kids. Men have beautiful lashes for no reason. So I did, I haven't ever tried Eyelore lashes, but I've been seeing a lot of people haul them and a lot of people try them out and a lot of people are liking them. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and give them a shot. So I did go ahead and pick up this multi-pack, this Eyelore Definition multi-pack. And this is in the style 126. They had these on sale for two bucks. I think this pack was on sale for two bucks. If I'm not mistaken, I'll list it and I'll, I think I have the receipt and I'll let you guys know. So this was oh, so exciting. Gonna try these ones out. And then the last pair of lashes that I got in this haul, you guys, are also the Eyelore number 185. And I got these when they were on sale as well. And these are super cute. Okay, the next thing I got, because everybody keeps talking about this eyeliner from Wet n Wild. And this is their Breakup Proof Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner. I got the shade Blackest Black. And so I'm just excited. It says waterproof, cry proof, cry proof, humidity proof, smudge proof. So we're gonna test these proofs because y'all know I like to wear makeup to the gym. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got was this actually this e.l.f. monochromatic uh, multi-stick. And I'm gonna use this as a blush just because I was gonna get a pink one, but I was like, mm, I have a lot of pinky blushes, so let me try something a little bit different. So I got the shade Glowing Mango. Oh, may not show up like anything. It might show up like something. I don't know, who knows, not me. Oh, yeah, I put it on my hand. I don't know, I guess we could see. So another thing I picked up was a new mascara and this is the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara with lengthening fibers. So I'm super excited to try this. I believe this is Jessica Bronze or Juicy Jazz, one of their favorites, but that's just what the one looks like. I'm so excited to try this, you guys. So I actually have a full face, like an actual full face of first impressions this week coming. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Just a new mascara to try out. And then I did pick this up though, because of <clears throat> Raquel. She did like the prettiest looks with this palette. I'll link her, the video that she did with this palette down below. But she did the prettiest look with these, you guys. And so I was like, okay, gotta have it. I was already eyeballing these before her video, but then she uploaded her video and I was like, that's it. That's it, like, gotta get it, gotta have it. So I got it. So one thing I did restock is my e.l.f. or my wet, my Ulta Beauty Joyful Jelly Overnight Sleeping Mask. Now I had ran out of this a long time ago and I kept looking for it on Ulta's website and I could never find it. Like anytime I typed in Joyful Jelly or Jelly Lip or anything like that, it was only bringing up the um, e.l.f. ones. And I was like, man, what happened to it? But I love this, you guys. So when I got it, it was on sale for six bucks. So see if you can find it without having to pay 12 for it. So I did go ahead and pick that up. Next thing I got was this Essence Blush and I got this one in the shade Bef Bef yeah, Befitting. Super cute. I love this kind of toned down muted rose blush. So picked that one up and then I did go ahead and get the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I got the shade Light 40 in. 
because that's just the one that the cons like the display i couldn't swatch or anything but they did have it on display why does it look so much lighter here at home this looks a lot lighter now that i'm home than it did in the store dag nab it we're gonna make it work like we do everything so I did go ahead and pick up these Milani understatement lip liners. Now I got these because Juicy Jazz and I believe, I wanna say Taylor One talked about these. So I got the shade Cinnamon Statement. Um, I got the shade Cinnamon Statement. Ooh, that's pretty, but I bet I have a lip liner that looks like that. So I got Cinnamon Statement and I also got, what color is this? nude nude entrance so they're similar but not the same undertones are different and i just loved how dark this one was for it to say nude because now when you say nude like you're getting a nude okay and then i did go ahead and pick up this lip liner in the shade bear by la girl i just wanted something that was like a lighter brown rather than that super dark brown that i have from elf so that's just what that one looks like Oh, it's more beige than brown, but who knows? I feel like there's another one. Oh, yeah. And then I also did pick up a backup of my Keep It Spicy lip liner because I'm actually running really, really low on that one. Okay, then the next thing I picked up because everybody's talking about this, I got the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder Foundation or Pressed Powder, and I got the one in the share Fair because, I mean, that's pretty dark for fair, so... Did go ahead and pick that one up, mostly because everybody was talking about it. Everybody just has to talk about something and I'll buy it, basically. Okay guys, so if you can't tell, I'm getting really into like cream products and things like that. I feel like everybody is right now. So one thing I picked up was this Wet n Wild um, Stick Blush, and this is in the shade Floral Majority. Yeah, floral majority. Ooh, that's really creamy. Now I did, I wasn't scared to pick this one up because I remember I really loved their, con, their bronzer sticks like this. So that's just what that looks like. That's super pretty, I'm excited. I am so excited. And then the next thing I picked up was this Born to Glow concealer and I got this one in the shade Vanilla. And that's just what it looks like. Super, I'm excited to try that out too. I picked up an LA Girl sponge. I've just really been wanting to try this. I think it's so cute. Let me take this out the box because it's grossing me out. I think it's so cute because it comes with a little stand to hold your sponge in. So I'm actually gonna keep this little stand in like whatever sponge I use for the day. I can just set it in this little stand and it'll air dry. I think that's so cool that it comes with that. All right, the last thing I picked up was this Ordinary Foundation. This is the Ordinary Colors Full Coverage Coverage Foundation High Coverage Foundation Formula. Now, if you have, this runs for $7 too. That's the only reason I bought it because I was like, let's do Battle of the Foundations. But, y'all, I should have listened to the description because the description is dead, like, points on with this shade. But the picture of it looks so light and that's why I bought it. So the description says for, okay, so it says it's for medium dark, three zero three. 3.0 um, white is what I got. Y'all, this is way too dark, but y'all, read the description and whatever the description says, you need to get the color that sounds like you because this one, yeah, I did not believe the description because the picture was just so light. So don't be like Allie, Allie's stupid. Okay, so with the purchase of the CoverGirl powder, pressed powder, you did receive a few foundation gifts sampler, like you were able to get the sampler. So these are the samples that I got. I did get two of like the card samples, but I gave those to my sister. So I got the Lancome sample. So this is just what this looks like. And these are pretty good samples, you guys. Like I can get a few uses out of these. So I got this one in the shade at 420 Bisque. And then I got the Maracuja one. And this one is in the shade. 34N medium neutral. And then the CC cream. And these are really good sample sizes, y'all. These are like what you get in a Ipsy. Got the CC cream in the shade medium. It's cosmetic CC cream in the shade medium. And then I was able to get a little Estee Lauder. This is in the shade Desert Beige. Got this little foundation sample. I think this one's like the cutest. It's like it's either really hard plastic or this little bottle's glass as well. 
And then I ended up getting the Becca Zero No Pigment Virtual Foundation sample. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Obviously it's a primer, not a foundation, but we can give that a try as well. So yeah, that is officially the end of this haul, you guys. This is like the biggest makeup haul I've had in a while. So Brian always spoils me around the time of our anniversary. So yeah, I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. Let me know what you guys have been picking up recently. Let me know if there's anything else I should say for to pick up. With all of that being said, you guys, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and let's, wait, what? Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.